Yalta was to be the big one. It had been hailed as the conference to shape tomorrow's world. The big silver planes touched down on the landing strip. The men in whose hands rested the fate of untold millions of people disembarked to be greeted by Russian Foreign Minister Molotov and his aides. Winston Churchill, guiding hand for the British Empire, arrived to a warm reception. And then Franklin Delano Roosevelt joined his British compadre and the two men showed their honest affection for each other as they acknowledged their host reception. The Russian leader, Joseph Stalin, arrived by car. Now the historic Yalta conference could officially begin.